subscribe to our channel click on bell icon you never miss any update hi i welcome back you all for the session 2 skill set for manual tester so here i am trying to explain you to get a job on manual testing what are the skill set required for you or indirectly i am saying that this is what i am going to teach you in the course okay yes the things what you are seeing on the screen i'm going to teach you each and every concept of this yes so this is your skill set to get a job right so let's start the very first one is basics of development process so what is this see in my experience i've observed that 60 to 70 percent of the people do come from non-it background to learn this qa course okay to keep by keeping this in a point i have developed this course in a such a way that even a non-it person who is very new to qa or who is very new to software industry can learn this course easily so that's the reason i'm going to start this course from the scratch this is very important point you need to remember okay what is a software from here we are going to start the course so the basics of development process is indeed required if you are already having a working experience if you are already in a software industry then this basics of development process may not be required for you but who are new to software industry yes they need to know how the application development happens like what is software development life cycle what are the phases involved in it and what are the models we have what is v model what is waterfall what is agile model so all this development structure should be known by everyone okay so that's the reason we are going to start this course from very scratch the first topic what i discuss is what is a software from here we are going to start the subject so that's the reason the basics of software development are very very important and that is included in the course then after learning the complete development process okay yes you may have a question kiran we are trying to test the application do i need to know complete development process yes you may work in a testing phase but you need to know like what happens in each and every phase you may not involve in other phases but you need to know what happens in each and every phase you need to know what's happening around you as simple as that correct yes next after that we'll leisurely move on to the manual testing again in the manual testing i have converted this or i have segregated this into two parts one is a practical approach and other one is a theoretical approach means first we are going to talk about the manual testing concepts manual testing concepts okay what is software testing life cycle okay and what are the documentations we use in the testing process like what is test plan what is test strategy document what are your roles and responsibilities as a qa tester this kind of information will be discussed in a theoretical concept of manual testing then we'll move on to the practical part of manual testing really we are going to write the test cases yes in the class i will show you how to write the test cases we are going to derive the test data we'll understand practically bva and acp i will give you exercises okay so that you can read and understand it right yes next this is very important here we are going to talk about practical approach and as well as theoretical approach of manual testing a to z of manual testing will be discussed by the end of the course i am guaranteeing you that you will be very much comfort in writing the test cases i mean to say if i give you a functionality you will be able to write the test cases by the end of the course that is what my guarantee is okay next see as a tester assume that you are trying to test an application okay you have tested an application and you have identified a bug means a deviation what you are expecting that is not achieved system is misbehaving you are expecting something and it is working in some other way so there is a deviation isn't it yes so you have identified a bug so what is your next activity then just think and let me know and put that on your paper so yes so you are going to report that to the developer you are not going to fix it isn't it no you are not going to fix it you are just going to identify that and you are going to 
provide that to the developer okay yes so what the developer will do you are just a finder you need to understand that you are not going to fix it okay so what developer will do he'll try to uh, go through the details what you have provided what you have provided from the details okay by using the details he is going to uh, what you call open the source code and change the few things in it okay means literally he is going to fix that bug after fixing the bug he is going to replay back to you says that kiran i have fixed it so again you are going to conduct retesting and regression testing on that okay if you feel satisfied we are going to close it or we are going to reopen it again once you reopen it again it will go to the developer once again he is going to recheck it again he is going to correct it this process uh, what you call continue till we close it means there should be some channel right where it should communicate you and developer right yes for that in this course we are going to talk about a literally important tool that is a bug reporting tool which helps you to coordinate all these things so what a bug reporting tool you are going to teach kinan so i am going to talk about a bug reporting tool called zira zira is not alone a bug reporting tool actually zira has lot of features in it but as a tester yes we are going to use bug reporting using zira not only bug reporting by adding some add-ins like zephyr add-ins into zira will can convert zira as a test management tool test management tool in the sense we can write the test cases we can uh, create the traceability matrix we can generate the logs okay we can give status like passed and failed over there we can generate the reports all those things we can create in zira okay yes testers part zira is a huge tool zira supports scrum model kanban model right zira knows what is user story zira knows what is uh backlog so we'll discuss all about this as we go in if you listen any new words now as if now ignore them okay as we go into the subject you will understand that clear so zira here we are going to talk about end to end zira also okay for testers i mean to say zira developer has a different activity in zira your project owner has a different activity in zira so everyone has their own different activities okay different uh, options or different roles different activities what we do on zira so here we are going to talk about zira for testers okay that is completely included in the course it's a very important thing next yes database knowledge is required means passing some sql queries are really required up till some extent okay means where required kiran see the, again here the very important thing this course is a completely functional testing course this is not a database testing course okay we are not going to talk uh, about database testing database testing is something called etl testing or data warehouse testing okay that is different okay database testing is completely a different scope where people do write sql queries and they are going to check the manipulate the data in the Uh, what you call uh, database and they are going to compare it with that that's a different story so we are not going to do that okay so as a functional tester you have access to database but we can't manipulate the data no we can't do it we'll not have that access so in the course yes i'm going to teach you basics of sql also in the course yes so where required actually okay where this database knowledge require we uh, as a tester really we need to have knowledge on sql yes up till some extent we need to have even you are doing a functional testing you need to have that knowledge see uh, this is an example try to understand it we have a ui screen a user registration form is there okay you have written username password clicked on sign in and it has populated up saying that guys um, your user registration is completed you got that message on the screen but is that enough no in some cases you need to check that whether this user is really added into the database or not if that user is really added into the database okay my test is done okay some cases only ui's explanation is not enough even we need to check the database in this cases yes access the database retrieving the data and comparing with your result is in some cases needed okay so database knowledge is quite needed for the qa course that to depending on your experience if you have one or two years of experience if you are putting in your resume then obviously there is no need okay or four or five years experience you are looking for team lead or something yes database knowledge is required in this case next so these are all i am going to teach you 
okay what i have discussed till now yes we are going to teach and next you need to have a bit knowledge on domain knowledge okay means that depends on your resume if your resume says that okay uh, uh we have worked on banking application at least you need to know that banking flow your interviewer may ask you about what you have done in your previous project what is the flow of your application few questions they may ask you in your um, interview not only that right now we are into a agile world right now we are into a development process using scrum mechanism where application is developed in a iterative models incremental modules or in a simple terms bits and pieces application will be developed with lesser documentation very less documentation we have nowadays okay practically you need to understand it okay so to understand it practically you need to have knowledge on that previously right so if you have a banking application knowledge then a other banking application also will have a similar flow so company will hire you because okay he has already knowledge on that if you pick him into a banking project okay he can suit there so that's the reason companies may ask you for the banking or any sort of domain knowledge here in the course for the manual testing yes we use uh, i have some banking related uh, documentation for that we'll write the test case okay yes clear and one more thing added thing after done with all these things we'll do a project that is very much a small project we'll take it after done after writing all the test cases okay so we'll take a small project we'll take some website okay some e-commerce site or something we'll write the test cases for that and we'll execute it we'll do the project in the class yes including project that is also there so this is the complete skill set what required and this is what i'm going to teach you clear Yes. Thank you for now.